Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Gitasha Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 28th of April. Pakistani Prime Minister heaves sigh of relief probe ordered by Supreme Court in Panama case. Death toll rises to 45 after bus plunges into river in northern India. And gardens in India's Kashmir get a facelift to attract tourists. And now for all the details. Death toll climbed to 45 on Thursday, a day after a bus fell off a mountain road in India's northern Himachal Pradesh province and plunged into a river. According to media reports, at least 45 persons were killed after a bus carrying more than 50 passengers fell off a mountain road in India's northern Himachal Pradesh province on Wednesday. The incident occurred near Nirva, a town about 68 miles from the provincial capital Shimla, and plunged into Tons River. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced an ex gratia of over $3,000 for the next of kin of each of those killed. According to India's Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, at least 400 people die in road accidents every day in the country. Moving on to news from Pakistan, in a temporary relief for Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, the country's apex court on Thursday ordered a joint investigation team to probe the Panama Papers case. It has asked for the report to be submitted in 60 days. Pakistan's Supreme Court ordered the formation of a joint investigation team or JIT to probe Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's family money trial. The Prime Minister and his party breathed a collective sigh of relief as the fear of an extreme verdict, the Premier's ouster dissolved and gave way to celebrations. The final verdict was split 3-2 among the bench. Two judges ruled against Sharif saying he should be disqualified while the other three were in favour of forming a JIT. The case against Sharif initiated after documents leaked from the Panama-based Mossack Fonseca law firm appeared to show that his daughter and two sons owned offshore holding companies and used them to buy properties in London. According to local media reports, ahead of the verdict, the country's capital was put on red alert. Around 1,500 security personnel were deployed in and around the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, Baloch activists allege people of southwestern Balochistan province for decades have been the victim of human rights abuses at the hands of Pakistan. They say the misery continues and atrocities on their people are at all-time high. Enforced disappearance, arrest and killing are a common thing for those who resist. Baloch leaders and activists claim people of Pakistan's southwestern Balochistan province are reeling under extreme poverty, negligence of basic human rights by Pakistan, which illegally occupied the region decades ago. They say that human rights abuses in the region are at an all-time high, with several of its people killed, abducted or arrested. Baloch activists from across the globe have been highlighting the gross human rights violation in southwestern Balochistan province by Pakistan. We are coming to the international community and appealing to the international community because this will have repercussions internationally and regionally and internationally. So therefore they have to intervene. They should not be given a blank card for Pakistan to carry out anything they want to do. I understand it blackmails the international community. Uh, by threatening them with uh, terrorist attacks and by terrorism. But uh, the world, and we are very optimistic that now Mr. Trump's America will not treat Pakistan the same way as the previous administra administrations had done. Mari said that multi-billion dollar China-Pakistan economic corridor, which Pakistan claims to be a game-changer project, is an exploitation of Balochistan's rich natural resources. Pakistan's development in Balochistan means its exploitation, strengthening its exploitative forces, i.e. more presence of military and the army. So yes, uh, Chinese presence is uh, not uh, a good sign in Balochistan. 
Baloch activists say that Pakistan's strategy, since it illegally occupied the region, is to reduce the Baloch population to a minority and to bring in excess population from other provinces. In news from Nepal, five Madhes based parties have decided to unite to form a new party in Nepal and are expected to formally announce the merger soon. Top leaders of Nepal's five major Madhesi parties on Wednesday decided to join hands to form a single unified party named Rashtriya Janata Party. They are yet to formally announce the merger. The five parties have altogether 23 lawmakers in the parliament. The decision to form a unified party comes amid ongoing protest by Madhis based parties opposing upcoming local level polls. The protesters are demanding amendments in the provision of citizenship in the constitution. Delineation is their primary demand before the May polls are held. <laughs> मधेश का जो असंतुष्टि है उसको संबोधन किया जाए फिर उसके बाद पूरे नेपाल बासी एक हो करके चुनाव में चला जाए एन अटेम्प्ट टू अमेंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैज ऑलरेडी फेल्ड एज द प्रेजेंट गवर्नमेंट विड्रू द सेकंड अमेंडमेंट रिप्लेसिंग इट विद अ न्यू वन व्हिच वाज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड बाय द एजिटेटिंग पार्टीज Moving on, a fierce heat wave roasted parts of India on Wednesday as the mercury hovered around the sweltering 40 degree mark. Residents are taking all precautionary measures to protect themselves from the blistering heat. A fierce heat wave has gripped several parts of India. Roads in Varanasi city of northern Uttar Pradesh province wore a deserted look as people chose to stay indoors to avoid the blistering heat. Those who ventured out for their daily work covered their heads with damp cloth and sipped on juice to keep hydrated. People avoided stepping out in the afternoon when the heat is at its maximum. Garmi to is samay kafi jada pad rahi hai. Sara pura Banaras jila garmi se tap raha hai. Aur jo istiti bani hui ki log nikalna muskil samaj rahe hai is samay dopahar ke samay mein jab bhi nikalna hai subah mein nikalna hai saam mein nikalna hai dopahar ko to yeh istiti hai ki log sadko pe चलना दोपहर समझ रहा है जिस तरीके की गर्मी पड़ रही है काफी तेज गर्मी पड़ रही है हैदराबाद सिटी इन सदर्न तेलंगाना प्रोविंस आल्सो सिजल्ड एट 43 डिग्री सेल्सियस इट्स हाईएस्ट टेंपरेचर सो फार इन अप्रैल द प्रोविंस इज रीलिंग अंडर अ प्रोलोंग ड्राई स्पेल ड्यू टू अ प्री मॉनसून रेन्स एंड थंडर शावर्स एल्यूडिंग इट कॉजिंग मर्क्युरी टू राइज कंटीन्यूअसली ड्रिंकिंग बटर मिल्क विद सॉल्ट एंड लेमन drinking taking more lots and lots of water and uh, drink lemon juice you have to keep your body hydrated always india's only private broadcaster skymet has forecast some rains in telangana on april 23 and 24th gardeners in india's kashmir valley are busy making preparations in the popular gardens of the northern province the purpose of the restoration drive is to make the gardens and parks look beautiful to attract tourists the floriculture department of india's northern jammu and kashmir province has undertaken the task of upgrading almost all the gardens in the valley to attract visitors Restoration and beautification of our gardens and parks of the Kashmir Valley is on full swing to make it more beautiful and attractive. With the offset of winter, the floriculture department has started massive upgradation of almost all the gardens in the valley. Takriban jitne bhi gardens parks ya jahan kahin green space available hai wo hum logo ne सजाने सवाने के लिए उठाया है और ये काम हम लोग विंटर में भी करते हैं क्योंकि हम लोग दो तरह की सीडिंग लगाते हैं एक वो सीडिंग जो स्प्रिंग में ब्लूम करे वो हम विंटर में लगाते हैं और दूसरी जो समर की होती है वो हम अभी से शुरू करते हैं इस 
इसी महीने में ज़्यादा काम होता है क्योंकि आने वाले दिनों में हमें फिर ज़्यादा यहाँ तो ज़्यादा गर्मी होती है सर इसलिए हमें इसी महीने में ज़्यादा ही काम अंजाम देना पड़ता है अप्रैल और मई में ताकि हम इन बागों को बहुत ज़्यादा खूबसूरत बनाए कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा टूरिस्ट यहाँ पर आए The Mughal Gardens in the valley as well as the famous Tulip and Botanical Gardens play an important role in promoting the province as a tourist destination. Models walk down the ramp wearing ethnic Indian wear and traditional jewelry at a fashion event in fashion capital Mumbai city. Printed fabric and breezy outfits mark the collection. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again, Pakistani Prime Minister heaves sighs of relief. Probe ordered by Supreme Court in Panama case. Death toll rises to 45 after bus plunges into river in northern India. And gardens in India's Kashmir get a facelift to attract tourists. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com/AsiaNewsline and follow us on Twitter at AsiaNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.